she's real and you'll see her and her geese very soon she always comes to the fair on the first day and whatever children say and do will endure as long as time for old mother goose will soon be here to record it all in rhyme she's coming she's coming Mother Goose is coming. She's coming. She's coming. Mother Goose is coming. Do you hear what they are saying, Jill? She's leading her geese across the hill. Is Jack with her? Yes, he is. She's coming. She's coming. Mother Goose is coming. Mother Goose is coming back. Mother Goose. The geese. And Jack. He's coming. He's coming. Mary Muffet. He is coming. I told you he'd be coming back. Mother, Mother Goose. The geese. And Jack. Hello, hello, hello. How do you do? Mother Goose, we're happy to welcome you. Jack? Uh, yes, Mother? Take care of the geese first, if you will. There's time enough for you to be with Jill. And with my usual sincerity, I'll keep a record for posterity. With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare, Mother Goose has come to the fair. With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare, Mother Goose has come to the fair. Be careful of what you say and do. Remember that I am watching you with a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. Mother Goose has come to the fair. Push all around the mulberry bush. Mother Goose has come to the fair. With a hey and a nanny and a diddly dare. Mother Goose has come to the fair. Last year when you were here, pray tell us, what did you chronicle? Did you write about some commoner or a lord with a fancy monocle? I'll be happy to tell you what I wrote. To wit, quote, and unquote. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. Mary had a little lamb a place with white as snow. Little boy blue can blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. Rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. See some muddy dog. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. Mother Goose has come to the fair. With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. Mother Goose has come to the
Dookie. Good morning. Apples. Apples. Rose and fresh apples. Pies. Pies. Apples. Pies of all kinds. Apples. Pies. Pies. Pies of all kinds. Pies. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts, all on a summer's day. I have no time for being a queen of anything. Father says the fair is to make money. Holly Baker, is that the way you take care of my booth? Giving away one of my good tarts? Good? I haven't tasted it yet. How do I know it's good? Can't you be generous, Father, even for a short while? The fair only lasts three days. Three days of sheer waste, not a penny profit. Polly, when the fair comes to town, you are like a girl bewitched. Two, four, six, 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 Two dozen tarts and two dozen puddings I have to deliver to Lord Duffield's. And you give them away faster than I can bake them. Imagine, imagine me baking for a prince. A prince? Prince George himself. Georgie Porgy. <laughs> Pudding and pie. His Royal Highness. He's visiting Lord Duffield for the hunting, and I am to take these to him. Oh, Father, invite him to the fair. <laughs> and disgrace us all? You remember the trouble we had last year. Don't blame everybody for Ted Rowdy. Holly, once and for all, if we have any of the rowdyism this year that we had at last year's fair, I'll close it down. Close down the fair? You wouldn't dare. Don't forget that I am the mayor here. You do that, you won't be mayor for very long. Oh, you, Ted Rowdy, oh. you two young thief! the tarts and took them clean away. Hmm. Ted Rowdy, what's that you've got in your mouth? Only my tongue. Rowdy, I've had enough of you and your gang after last They're year. Here. I They're said, here. Oh. They're here. Who's here? Speak up, man. The beggars are coming to town. The beggars are coming to town. The dogs do bark. The beggars are coming to town. What does it matter how they are called? I love them all. Especially Tom. Tom, Tom, the piper's son. Stole a pig and away he run. And joined the beggars. I wish I could have gone with him. But you're the mayor's daughter. I can wish, can't I? <laughs> oh. If wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. Just to see the show, everyone you know. It's really quite a sight, a positive delight to see the harlequins, the jugglers, and the acrobats, the midgets and the mountebanks who tip their hats. The fire eater brandishes a flaming sword. The gypsy fortune teller, for a very small reward, will tell you when you'll marry, who will be your wife. You never had a better time in all your life. When the beggars come to town, nobody ever wears a frown. It's a holiday. Everyone is gay as they're marching up and down. Up and down the square, all around the fair. When 
the beggars come to town, when the beggars come to town, they go parading up and down, up and down the square, all around the square, a singing and a dancing as they march around the fair. When the beggars come to town, the people come from miles around, just to see the show, everyone you it's really quite a sight, a positive delight to see the harlequins, the jugglers, and the acrobats. The midgets and the mountebanks who tip their hats. The fire eater brandishes a flaming sword. The gypsy fortune teller for a very small reward. We'll tell you when you'll marry. Who will be your wife? You never had a better time at all your life. it if I, I, I mean, how would I like it if you, you, you wouldn't? <laughs> it's so nice to have you back. A pity we only have the fair once a year. It's so long to wait. I envy you, Tom. Envy me? You go right on to another fair. For you, every day is a holiday. You don't have to come back to a dreary old bake shop. Why don't you come with us, Polly? If only I could. Maybe you can. Let's ask the fortune teller. I don't think she's there. Then we can wait till she returns. <laughs> <laughs> selling your geese. Oh, there's time enough for all that. We Willie here have a Loganberry tart. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't you Loganberry me. I haven't forgotten the terrible thing you did to me last year. Oh, my handsome town cry. Whatever did I do to you? Do? Do? But well, you left more than a trail of goose feathers. <gasps> He runs through the town. Upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown. Now, that's a terrible thing to write. Rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? And now it's eight o'clock. Why, we Willie, that's one of the best rhymes I've ever written. Well, what about that nightgown? Now, you know perfectly well I've never appeared in public in such attire. Well, of course you have. And how do you expect me to get the children off the street at night if you give them cause to laugh at me? What's wrong with a little laughter? Oh, one of these days, those little verses of yours will get you into serious... Oh, making fun of your betters. Tom, 
Empire. Young lady, young gentleman, will you be the first? Oh, come on, Jack. Step right in, my children. Step right in. Shh. One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. Four to go. What does it say? It is hazy. Full of smoke. What do you see? I see a flame. A candle. Lighted. Burning. I see no more. Well, what does it mean, old woman? There is only one sure way to foretell the future. Take this lighted candle. Leap high over the flame. Mind not to put it out. Then your dearest wish will come true. Jack, Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. From here? should be kept secret. I can tell you, but uh, out of here. Oh. Listen, you got wait a You get out of here, Ted Roddy. So you're a fortune teller, Polly Baker. Well suppose you tell me my fortune with you. You haven't any. Oh no. Well I can jump over the candlestick and wish same as he did. Oh no you can't. Oh no? Watch, boys. Oh. Oh, hear ye, hear ye, his honor has something to say. Whereas these annual fairs have been an unending source of grief and worry, inciting rowdyism and violence, and in view of this latest outrage which endangers us all. Father. The High Sheriff is hereby instructed in the name of the Crown to close down this fair at once! Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, hey, please, I said at once! As mayor of this town, I have made my decision. But this is only the first day of the fair. Tomorrow is the cushion dance. We have all waited the whole year for it. How do you expect them to get husbands? Please, Father, let the fair stay open one more day. Law and order must be maintained. The fair will be closed. I speak in the name of the crown. Speak in the name of the crown, do you? Maybe the crown will have something to say about that. Hmm. <clears throat>
doing to you? How can they be so thoughtless and cruel to leave you like this? All alone in the dust. And do you know what else is left lying here? All the happy songs of children on a holiday. They've forgotten what it is to be young. What is it, Punch? What do you hear? And the rhymes. Will they be forgotten, too? It isn't right, Punch. It isn't right. We mustn't let it happen. We mustn't let the fair be closed. What can we do, Punch? What can we do? Polly? We are not going to let the fair close down. We will appeal to the Crown. But the King is in London. Ah. Prince of Wales is at Lord Duffield's just a few miles away. Oh. We can send a plea on behalf of all the children. As good, loyal subjects of the Crown. Right. Polly, you call the children, we'll have them all sign a petition. Meantime, I will write it up in style, but softly mind you, shh, so as not to wake the elders. <laughs> Sure, Polly. Now, children, be very quiet and watch the puppets. Shh. One for the money. Look, the cow! 
cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> the little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. The dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> We want another one. We want another one. Please. 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 Mother Goose isn't ready yet. Well, I can think of something else to do. I got it. Follow me and bring the children. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come one, come all! The great pantomime comedy, Harlequin and... Just simpleton, you'll rouse the whole village. Harlequin and Columbine. Admission free to all children under 60. Hurry! Harlequin, and you'll be the beautiful Columbine. <laughs> and you'll be Pantaloon. You're perfect for the part. Oh, no, not me. I know what happens to oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> Who can I be? Suki, you can be a Piro. Oh, Sweet and simple. Would be my shining night. Would let me kiss thy dimple. Would that thou wouldst, if thou couldst. Would slay a dragon for me. Would that someday I might. Would perish to adore me. Would that thou wouldst, if thou couldst. I know that I. But a knave to thee, please let me be a willing slave to thee forever and ever and ever and ever. Would let me feed and house thee? Would I were thine alone? Would that I might espouse thee? Would that thou wouldst, if, if thou couldst, and thou couldst, if thou wouldst, and thou shouldst. Wouldst love me sweet Wouldst and simple? Love me sweet Wouldst and simple. Let me Wouldst take thy hand. Let me take Wouldst thy hand. Let me kiss Wouldst thy dimple. Let me kiss Wouldst thy dimple. That thou wouldst, that if thou wouldst, wouldst, if thou couldst. Wouldst let my Wouldst arms enfold thee. Let my Wouldst arms enfold thee. Think me kind of grand. Think me kind of grand. Snuggle Wouldst up and hold me. Snuggle up Wouldst and hold me. Wouldst that me. thou wouldst, if thou couldst. I know that I'm but an ape to thee. Please let me be a will and slave to thee forever. Be just an ape to me, but and let ever. me be a willing slave to thee. Woods, let me feed and house thee. Woods, thou art mine alone. Woods, that I might espouse thee. Woods, that thou wouldst, if thou couldst, and thou couldst, 
if thou would, and thou shouldst. To His Royal Highness, Prince George, we do hereby petition. What is it? It's a petition to the Prince of Wales. What is a petition? A petition, my dears, is like a bridge. Like London Bridge? Oh, no, 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 not that kind of bridge. It's a bridge of words that will carry your wishes across many miles to His Highness. The Prince. I am the Prince. What is your request? Please, Your Highness, in the name of all of those who are young in heart, we do hereby petition you to let the fair remain open. I have read the petition. It is just. I hereby declare the fair remain open in the name of the crowd. Oh. Hooray! 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 Now, come, my dears. Come, write your name for the prince to read. But I don't know how. Oh, that's all right. Just make an X. Jack. Yes, Mother. Hurry to Lord Duffield's and hand our petition to the Prince of Wales. Take the back roads. And avoid the sheriff's man. Well, I like the wind, son. Oh, and hurry back. I'll be back before the rooster crows. Bye. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. I'm scared. Home. Oh. Oh, Polly Baker, I am shocked. Now, well, the rowdy boys and their doings were bad enough. But you like this. Willie. Willie Winky. This is the last night of the fair. And breaking the curfew that was set by your own father is worship the mayor. Now, that's the worst offense. Stop croaking like an old frog. Is it against the law to have fun? Oh, you scoundrel. Now, who asked you to come back into town bringing your collection of scallywags? Now, you tell your beggars to be off and out before 7 o'clock in the morning. So early in the morning. If they're not gone, the sheriff has ordered all these booths and all these stalls torn down. Oh, no. Yes, and all the better for it, because that means the likes of you will be gone forever. Forever? You mean the fair won't be open next year? Well, not next year, nor any year. Miss Polly, you have danced to the piper. And now you must pay for it. Don't lose heart, Polly. Jack will be back before sunup. And with a little luck, he'll bring good news from Prince George. Slept a wink all night. Oh, me. Uh, least of all, I. You know, in all my born days, I've never seen such excitement. <laughs> but when all's said and done, uh, why else do I come to the fair? Long enough. 
stop this hocus pocus and get them on their way. Father, Jack will be here any moment with the prince. Stop talking like an nincompoop. His Royal Highness would never see the son of a common goose herder. And why not? His Highness is a true nobleman, and he's interested in all his subjects. Be he butcher, baker, a candlestick maker, or even a common goose herder. Bah! I still say he'll never see Jack. He will. I know he will. Bah! Sheriff! Jack's here. He's coming. Jack, where's the prince? I don't know. You don't know? Didn't you get to see him, son? Are you satisfied now, Polly? All right. Away with all of you. Jack, what happened? There were two sentries at the gate. Yes. And they said the prince was sleeping and he couldn't be disturbed. But the petition. Well, they said they would give it to him. They must. It's the law of the land. Yeah, it's the law. And he will come. I know he will. One daughter is all I have. And she's gone daft. Sheriff. Miss Polly. His Highness has more important things to do than to concern himself with our village fair. Make haste! Make haste! Come on, make haste! Goodbye, Polly. There's no need staying if there's to be no cushion dance. The cushion dance? Father, can't we at least have the cushion dance? Oh, yes. yes sir, we, we've waited all year. Oh, let them have oh, the yes, Stop shouting! Stop shouting! Please. You have always been a just and a worthy man. And these good lasses have worked so hard to make their tuffets. Your worship, I know you're too kind, you're too generous, too noble to spoil their chance of finding a husband. Very well. On with it. <laughs> but only the cushion dance, mine. <laughs> Prince. 
haven't you seen him yet? I do hope he comes. I saw Ted Roddy put that spider by Miss Muffet. That does it. The dance is over. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. There'll be no more delays. Take your people out of here immediately. But your honor, oh. Oh. George, Prince of Wales. Good day, my high sheriff. How goes the fair? The fair? <laughs> Your Royal Highness, the fair, as you see, we closed it. You closed it? On the second day? Is that traditional? Uh, Your Highness, may I present uh, His Worship, the Mayor. He'll explain. If Your Royal Highness, please, I, we, we're sorry. Open disregard for law and order. So I instructed the High Sheriff to close the fair down. Please, sir, may we have a word, Mother Goose and I? Mother Goose? Which one of you is Mother Goose? I am your Royal Highness. You are the lady who scribbles the rhymes? I am your Royal Highness. Georgie, porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry? It was meant in jest, Your Highness. And London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Now, is that a way to speak of our own London Bridge? It is in need of repair, Your Royal Highness. Oh, it is, is it? Hmm. And you would tell your sovereign what to do, would you? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Your Royal Highness. There's no respect for law and order. I'm quite capable of speaking for myself. Yes, your royal realness, your real highness, your high I understand you are by profession a baker. Have you ever sung the rhyme Georgie Porgy? Oh, I wouldn't breathe a word of it, your your Majesty. It's scandalous. It's it's. It's people like Mother Goose, your Royal Highness, and, and this Ted Rowdy and his gang. Young ruffians who, who cause such trouble. Mm. Young Rowdy, I've heard about you. I've done anything so terrible, your Highness. We was just all having fun. Young man, there is a marked difference between good fun and malicious deviltry which destroys the happiness of the folk around you. There is another old rhyme about these fairs. Come with a hoop and come with a call. Come with a good will, or come not at all. You, young man, you have come here, I am told, with an ill will. Therefore, I hereby decree that you and your fellows be banished from this fair and from all fairs in the kingdom. And as for you, Mother Goose... Please, Your Majesty. Mother Goose meant no disrespect. Her rhymes were for the children. Please, Polly! Polly? Polly, put the kettle on. Oh, you are a very lucky person, Polly, to have Mother Goose as your friend. And Mother Goose, in all truth, I am delighted to meet you. The world is a richer place for you and your rhymes. I hereby decree that the fair be open for a full three days. Oh. My high sheriff. Your Highness. 
Here is a purse of gold which I entrust to you. For what purpose, Your Highness? For all the children. So they may have whatever their hearts desire. <laughs> With a hay and an army and a diddly dare, good Prince George has come to the fair. All around on my baby bush, careful now, don't anybody push. All around on my baby bush, good Prince George has come to the fair. With a hay and an army and a diddly dare, good Prince George has come to the fair. Now the hay and an army and a diddly dare, good Prince George has come to the fair. This year, while you were here, pray tell us, what did you chronicle? Did you write about some commoner? Or a lord with a fancy monocle? I'll be happy to read you what I wrote. To it, quote, and unquote. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. <laughs> Said Simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wear. <laughs> <laughs> with a hay and a nanny and a diddle deep dare, that is what she wrote at the fair. With, with a hay and a nanny and a diddle deep dare, that is what she wrote at the fair. Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> With a hey and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away he run. With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. With, With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. With a hay and a nanny and a diddle dee dare. That is what she wrote at the fair. I'm tired. <laughs> no wonder you're tired so early in the day. You've been up all night. Just rest your head. Dim the light, little man. And tonight, little man, on a ship of dreams, you'll sail. Dreams are made for children. And a dream. Is a fairy tale. You don't need a magic wand to see all that lies beyond. If you just believe. 